starting from uh, Montreal Metro Station. Uh, this is an event in commemoration of the uh, Nakba, or uh, the Palestinian tragedy. Uh, so we've got a lot of people here who are uh, speaking out against uh, what they uh, classify as the Israeli occupation of Palestine. A lot of Palestinian flags and uh, banners in support of uh, the Palestinian people. We've got a few hundred people out this evening. Currently moving down Mont Royal. Uh, worth noting that this evening the uh, itinerary has been provided to the police uh, for this march. So we now have some chance right now uh, talking about solidarity with Palestine. 
there is a police presence this evening, uh, relatively light given the, uh, the number of protesters, which as I said is in the few hundreds. We do have uh, some police blockades here on the uh, intersection of Saint-Denis and Montréal. As I said earlier, uh, the itinerary was provided, so uh, police are prepared to uh, block off traffic. We do have some uh, march organizers at the front uh, right now who are organizing some chants and the, uh, the march is moving relatively slowly. We do have a map here being held uh, in the center of the crowd, uh, and it was uh, indicated earlier in a speech that this is uh, indicative of uh, some of the villages that have been lost uh, by Palestine uh, since the creation of Israel. So the uh, itinerary of the march appears to be uh, leading on uh, left onto Saint-Denis. As always, if you have any questions or comments about uh, this evening's events, anything you'd like to share, go ahead and put it in uh, in the chat or the social stream, and I will do my very best to uh, respond. So the majority of the crowd now on Saint Denis. police officers uh, actually on the ground following the uh, the direction of the march, a few police officers on bikes and uh, some officers on intersections uh, and some vehicles, but uh, like I said earlier, uh, relatively light in terms of the police presence right now. We do have a lot of uh, children out this evening, uh, some families. So traffic is back up a little bit on Saint-Denis right now as police try to help circulate the traffic on the intersection of Saint-Denis and Mont-Royal. Uh, so far, no issues this evening. Uh, people gathered at Mont-Royal Metro Station um, about 8 o'clock, which was the uh, official start time of this event on uh, social media. Uh, the numbers grew quite a bit. Uh, as the uh, hour went on, uh, there were a number of speeches from different uh, organizers and activists talking about um, their relationship with the uh, with the cause of the Palestinian people. Uh, there was a lot of talk about um, uh, boycotting divestment and sanctions against Israel. So I would estimate we have roughly uh, two or three hundred people out here uh, this evening. Uh, 
haven't seen any riot police officers out uh, this evening. It appears to be uh, primarily uh, the police presence made up of uh, officers on uh, bicycles. of life out here this evening, all kinds of backgrounds, here to uh, to march in uh, solidarity with uh, Palestine on uh, today, the uh, commemoration of the Nakba, or uh, as it's also known, the uh, Palestinian tragedy. Uh, today is the uh, commemoration of uh, the 67th year uh, since the Nakba. Jones 1963. Thanks again for watching. Always nice to see you in the stream. As always, check out uh, 99media.org and the link newspaper.ca. Follow me on Twitter. The handle is in the title of the stream, at Nadamo. And uh, go ahead and share this uh, on Facebook and Twitter. Got some children leading the chant there. First uh, honks of support from uh, passing vehicles. Interesting change of pace this evening. Uh, instead of just having some speeches at the start point of the march, uh, there were some musical performances. Uh, people with uh, acoustic guitars or people just singing. Uh, so that was uh, that was an interesting change of pace uh, from the usual uh, political speeches. But there was uh, plenty of that as well. And uh, also important to note, I think that we do have some uh, uh, contingent of uh, anti-Zionist uh, Jews here this evening uh, who are uh, who are here in solidarity with uh, the cause of the Palestinians. And uh, as you might expect, they did get uh, quite a bit of attention from uh, photographers and videographers. A lot of people who were coming out of uh, Montréal Metro, which was the uh, starting point of this march, uh, as the speeches were going on, there were a lot of people coming out of the metro and uh, nodding their heads in support, or clapping, or uh, yelling in, uh, in support. Uh, I did hear a few isolated cases of uh, some people getting into uh, some, uh, let's say, heated exchanges with uh, some of the protesters who had Palestinian uh, flags, uh, but uh, altogether it was a uh, mostly positive response from what I saw. And we do have uh, we do have the starting up here of uh, some familiar anti-capitalist chants. So uh, it is uh, it is worth noting that on social media uh, this event was not uh, was not uh, uniquely geared towards uh, the Nakba or in support of Palestine. But there was also calls for people of all uh, walks of life uh, who support all kinds of causes to come out in solidarity with Palestine, including. Uh, anti-capitalist and uh, red square and black square uh, contingents. Police vans uh, in tow at the uh, at the back of the march, but as I was saying earlier, relatively light police presence this evening. Lots of uh, 
lots of children out, families are out in, uh, in support of uh, tonight's event. And the itinerary uh, for the march has been provided to the police, uh, which was confirmed. Suzik2288, hi, thanks for joining us once again. Always nice to see some familiar faces. Don't be shy if you've got any questions, comments, or anything you'd like to say about um, tonight's evening, uh, this evening's events in uh, Montreal or uh, anywhere else. If uh, you have witnessed some uh, some Nakba demonstrations uh, in your hometown, go ahead and uh, share your experiences or uh, anything at all, really. Let's just keep it uh, civil and relevant. that was given earlier at the starting point. Uh, it was indicated that this is to uh, to commemorate the villages that have been lost in, uh, in Palestine. So see for the Nakba, uh, the end of the. Uh, it's basically to commemorate um, the, the struggle in Palestine and uh, a lot of people talking about the occupation, the Israeli occupation of Palestine. Suzik2288 saying here that uh, this stream is being uh, is being mirrored on uh, Global Occupy News Network. Fantastic. Always nice to hear that uh, the work is being passed around. Thanks very much. Now passing the intersection of Saint Denis and Rachel. So far, no incident uh, between protesters and police. Police presence is quite light, and the itinerary uh, has been provided to police for this march. Peace, peace, peace. 
only a handful of police officers actually on the ground walking alongside uh, the march. A few uh, police vans at the back and at the front. Uh, memes 15-1, nice to see you again. Thanks for uh, mirroring. Some people were worried that uh, the turnout might uh, dwindle a little bit because we had a little bit of a drizzle earlier, a little bit of rain, uh, but that did die down and we do have a mild and pleasant evening here in Montreal. So uh, I did not see any uh, uh, what appeared to be mainstream media outlets uh, at the start of the march, so no uh, no big camera setups. Uh, it appears that uh, most of the coverage uh, for tonight's event uh, is coming from uh, citizen and uh, independent journalists, such as myself. right now down St. Denis, which is a, a pretty uh, busy street. We do have some uh, some restaurant patrons seeing the march go by. Some people coming out of their apartments to, uh, to see what the commotion's about. on the intersection of Saint-Denis and Duluth. Uh, I can't see, uh, I can see at the front of the march that we do have uh, organizers uh, who have been in contact with the police since the beginning, uh, coordinating the march, uh, talking about what comes next. So as I was pointing out earlier, relatively light uh, police presence this evening. Uh, a few uh, police officers on bicycles uh, flanking the march. And we've got three police vans uh, here at the back and uh, I believe one or two at the front. So no riot police in sight.
So I see some chatter here uh, in the stream, people talking about uh, some streams that were coming out of uh, out of Gaza, I believe, um, during the uh, the last conflict. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's certainly something that uh, that was talked about a lot, uh, especially in journalistic circles. This idea of having uh, access to some of the stuff that uh, you wouldn't necessarily see before, unless you were uh, an embedded journalist or uh, took quite the risk and, and went into some of these areas that were being uh, that were being shelled. Uh, it's a uh, it's a brave new world in a lot of ways, and uh, part of that manifests in uh, in live streams coming out of the some pretty unlikely places. of support from passing cars. So just a quick recap for those of you just joining. Uh, this is a live stream coming out of uh, Montreal, Quebec, Canada. I'm uh, Matt Damol of 99 Media and The Link Newspaper. Uh, check out 99media.org and thelinknewspaper.ca. Follow me on Twitter. The handle is in the title of the stream, at Matt Damol. Uh, so this is a uh, an event in commemoration of the Nakba, otherwise known as the uh, Palestinian Tragedy. So we've got people out here this evening uh, in solidarity with the, uh, the Palestinian people. Uh, and a lot of people here uh, carrying uh, Palestinian flags and banners decrying uh, what's referred to as the Israeli uh, occupation of uh, Palestine. Uh, people from uh, all walks of life out here this evening. We've got a lot of uh, families, so a lot of uh, kids are out this evening. Uh, people from all kinds of backgrounds. Obviously, uh, Montreal, a uh, very cosmopolitan city, uh, very diverse. So uh, you've got all kinds of people out here this evening. Uh, so we got a question here from Jones1963. Uh, I can't read the whole question, so I'll just uh, reiterate as I do sometimes. Uh, just to remind you that if you put a, a question in the chat, if you can just break it up, if it's a if it's a longer one, uh, into smaller chunks, so I can read the whole thing. But uh, if I get the gist of it here, it's to know if um, if you let the police know in Montreal uh, what your itinerary is, that they'll let you uh, go ahead. So yeah, that's. Um, that's uh, one of the stipulations of Montreal's uh, controversial P6 bylaw, is that uh, the police uh, do require an itinerary uh, in order for the uh, the march to be uh, legal. So a lot of the time when uh, a march is declared illegal under P6, uh, it will be because an itinerary was not provided, or if there was any uh, crimes being committed, or vandalism, or if the police feel that, um, that it's getting out of hand. Uh, but for the most part, if an itinerary is provided, uh, uh, beforehand, uh, it is, uh, it is, the march itself is usually allowed to, to go on. We saw this uh, uh, a couple of weeks ago. There was an anti-austerity march that was uh, organized by some high school students who had provided an itinerary. Uh, keep in mind, though, that even though uh, an itinerary is provided, that doesn't mean that it, uh, 
it necessarily goes uh, smoothly the whole way. Uh, so a couple of weeks ago when it was the uh, the high school students, they had provided an itinerary and they did stick to it in terms of the route of the march. Uh, but there were a couple of moments where they, they stretched it as far as they could. Uh, so you had a couple of sit-ins uh, on some of the busier intersections that did uh, bust up traffic a little bit, uh, did back up uh, some, of the, some of the drivers there. So even though there's an itinerary, uh, sometimes you will have some disruptions, but for the most part, yes, it will be allowed to go on uh, without any kind of incident. And it is also important to note, I think, that uh, a lot of the tickets that are handed out under the Montreal P6 bylaw, uh, I believe that they usually range in around the $600 uh, price tag, uh, but a lot of those are uh, being invalidated and thrown out in court, uh, so that is something to keep in mind. I do apologize if my uh, voice is a bit hoarse this evening. I am getting over a cold and allergy season is in full swing, but I'll do my best for you. On the intersection right now of Saint-Denis and Roi Est, So as I noted earlier, uh, it is uh, a slower pace to the march this evening. People aren't in a hurry. Uh, itinerary was given, so there's no uh, there's no discernible tension between uh, protesters and police. And uh, usually that's when uh, protesters tend to book it uh, a little bit uh, more quickly, is when there's a large police presence. And sometimes you'll have uh, situations where uh, protesters might want to sort of uh, outmaneuver uh, police mobilization across certain intersections, so they'll they'll sort of pick up the pace and uh, and try to, to outdo them that way by, by moving past the intersection before police have a chance to, uh, to block off the streets. Coming up on the intersection of Saint-Denis and Pain. <coughs> So not too surprising here since we do have an itinerary provided. We do have uh, some police uh, in the distance here that are uh, helping to control the flow of traffic uh, to stop any uh, disruptions here and allow the, uh, the march to continue on. And uh, for those of you who are wondering uh, how many people we have out here this evening, I would estimate that it's uh, maybe about two or three hundred uh, people. And of course, uh, it is a uh, Friday evening, so we do have people out looking to hit the club or the bars. Uh, <laughs> so you do have some people just walking by on the sidewalk, uh, going to their destination. But uh, the march does catch their eye, and they uh, stop and watch for a little bit. So we do have, um, just as an aside, we do have some rumblings that uh, there are going to be some uh, anti-austerity marches. Um, they're going to start back up uh, later in the month. Uh, there's a lot of chatter about uh, how uh, different unions and organizations are mobilizing. Uh, for the coming fall, uh, there's a lot of talks about different strike activities. Uh, so people, uh, I, just, just personally, I've gotten the sense that people are talking about that a little bit more than uh, in the past few weeks. 
some of that might have to do with the fact that uh, the Montreal Canadiens uh, were eliminated from the playoffs. So uh, Hockey Town Montreal uh, may be refocusing a little bit on uh, other things such as uh, the anti-austerity movement. Coming up on the intersection of Saint-Denis and Cherrier. So to our uh, international viewers, uh, anybody not from Montreal, let us know if you've uh, if you've come across any uh, Nakba Day uh, protests in your city, uh, any uh, demonstrations in support of the Palestinian people. Always interesting to hear about uh, what's happening in other cities. Or even if you've just come across uh, some of these on live streams, uh, let us know what you found and uh, and what's going on uh, internationally. So you can see quite a few people out this evening uh, enjoying a meal or something, coming out from a bar, taking out their cell phones to uh, to capture some of the uh, the action here. Now on the intersection of Saint Denis and Saint Louis. Got uh, Suzuki 2288 uh, putting an opinion out here that um, sometimes, uh, well, every, saying that everything is about money, that you pick any uh, protest issue and uh, money will be at the uh, at the root of it. Uh, well, Pink Floyd would certainly agree with that uh, in uh, Dark Side of the Moon's uh, seminal track, Money so they say, is the root of all evil today. Of course, that was said in the early 1970s. I'll leave it to you to uh, decide if that's still applicable today. Susan 2288 uh, continuing to talk about um, U.S. politics. Yeah, it, it's interesting, and it comes up a lot in the stream as well. A lot of uh, international viewers or viewers from the U.S. will ask about uh, the differences between um, protest movements and certain issues uh, between Canada and the United States, and uh, it's always a tricky one to try and answer, uh, especially when you have situations like uh, what's happened in Baltimore uh, recently. You know, uh, gun violence and people being killed in the street is uh, is definitely. Uh, not as prominent an issue here in Canada and uh, I do very often hear the sentiment that take any issue um, in Canada and uh, if you find it in the US it'll just be amplified in so many different ways across so many different uh, dimensions uh, and just uh, speaking about the, the political situation over there I'll, uh, I'll share uh, sort of a 
an exasperated uh, comment I came across recently, and it was somebody talking about the, the situation there and the upcoming uh, elections in 2016. And I came across the sentiment uh, that somebody put out there saying that, like, there's a very good possibility that the next uh, federal election, the U.S. is going to come down to a Clinton and a Bush. <laughs> and uh, that, uh, I think that kind of says it all in a lot of ways. So we are now coming up to the intersection of Saint Denis and Sherbrooke. Again, as I said earlier, the itinerary was provided to the police for this march. Uh, I'm not privy to uh, what the path is going to be, but uh, the march appears to be taking a right off of Saint Denis onto Sherbrooke. So we are coming on to another uh, busy downtown street. <clears throat> it is a Friday, people are out partying, having a good time, and uh, Sherbrooke is definitely uh, one of the more uh, popular streets uh, downtown with uh, a lot of different restaurants and bars. Uh, so there are some, uh, some vehicles that are caught in traffic right now, uh, but nothing too serious, and uh, the police are following and trying to uh, cut off certain uh, strategic intersections to try and limit the, uh, the impact on traffic. Another thing I, I would point out is that uh, in a lot of these uh, marches, um, uh, let's say the anti-austerity or anti-capitalist variety, you'll have a, a variety of different slogans and chants uh, and in different uh, segments of the march you might hear different things, but one of the things I've noticed this evening is that the, uh, the chants and the messages uh, being put out there are much more cohesive, so you'll usually have somebody on a loudspeaker at the front of the march say something, uh, uh, a popular one this evening is just uh, solidarity with Palestine and that will usually travel down uh, the march and, uh, and be repeated. So uh, there is uh, very much a singular cause this evening, although we do have some people um, with uh, communist flags uh, who are still carrying the torch for the uh, anti-austerity movement here this evening. some uh, kids being carted around at uh, tonight's protest. <laughs> I have come across the sentiment in uh, some of the streams and the uh, comments on uh, my YouTube channel. People uh, who question the wisdom of uh, bringing their kids uh, to these protests. Uh, and that's definitely a tricky issue because on one hand, uh, especially in a situation where the itinerary has been provided and there's a lot of families out, uh, there is uh, an expectation amongst a lot of people that um, everybody will remain on good behavior and that includes protesters and police. Uh, but then you have situations like the 1st of May, which was uh, a huge uh, protest that was organized by a lot of different organizations and, uh, and uh, well-known unions. So there was an expectation that evening that things were going to go smoothly, uh, and they most certainly did not. And a lot of, uh, a lot of families, uh, protesters and otherwise, got caught in the crossfire, tear gas, and so on. So the debate continues about that one. had an announcement on the loudspeaker uh, <clears throat> saying that uh, today's uh, Nakba Day March in Montreal has drawn uh, 500 people out onto the streets. I can't confirm that number. Like I said, I would have uh, pegged it more at uh, about 300, but uh, it's entirely possible. Hard to, uh, hard to estimate on the, the head counts of these things.
Coming up on the intersection of Sherbrooke and Hotel de Ville. So the march continuing down St. Denis past uh, Hotel de Ville Avenue, uh, further into the heart of the downtown core. Quite a few uh, bystanders and uh, passerbys uh, taking their cell phones out and snapping some pictures, shooting some video, wanting to, uh, to capture this uh, march as it passes by. Uh, people uh, appear to be sticking with the march. Uh, I don't think I've uh, noticed the, the numbers dwindling at all. So uh, people uh, seem to be in it for the long haul. Myself included, of course. We do have more uh, honks cropping up from uh, passing vehicles. And uh, quite a few people uh, poking their heads out from their apartments, uh, having a look down here. Uh, very interested to see at the uh, starting point of this march uh, for about an hour uh, people gathered at uh, Mont Royal metro station uh, there was a lot of uh, discussion going on so a lot of people socializing chatting uh, and I did see quite a few instances where uh, a passerby would either be leaving or going into the metro and would sort of stop and uh, engage in a conversation with uh, with a protester and discuss the issues and uh, have some some talks and I did hear a couple of tense exchanges uh, but for the most most part, it was just a um, nice, healthy exchange of ideas and uh, opinions. Uh, so that was um, that was kind of nice to see. So we got a question here from. Uh, 
I'm here asking uh, any protests in the U.S. Uh, yeah, I'd be interested to hear that as well. Anybody uh, from abroad, uh, international viewers, uh, anybody from the U.S. who's either uh, witnessed some um, pro-Palestinian protests uh, today uh, on uh, Nakba Day, uh, whether you've come across that yourself or uh, seen some live streams, go ahead and, uh, and share what you've come across. I'm uh, personally quite interested to know what the uh, what that movement uh, looks like in the United States. So the uh, march taking a right off of Sherbrooke onto Saint Laurent, heading uh, towards uh, Mont Royal. A uh, handful of uh, police vehicles continue to follow, and we do have uh, police uh, enforcing a blockade here on the uh, intersection of saint Laurent and Sherbrooke to help uh, control the flow of traffic and ensure that the uh, march continues on uh, uninterrupted by uh, traffic. No issues to report so far, uh, no confrontations between protesters and police. Uh, so far, very peaceful, uh, very uh, enthusiastic and jubilant on the on the part of protesters. Lots of families out this evening. Uh, so we've had uh, the first instance I've come across of. Uh, a passerby uh, yelling out in opposition to this uh, protest this evening, uh, saying, Long live Israel. Uh, didn't really get too much of a response from protesters, though. Just a couple of people uh, uh, yelled angrily at him, but uh, nothing more than that. Uh, Jones 1963 saying, uh, Live from south of Boston, uh, haven't heard anything. Uh, from there, yeah, I would imagine that uh, people in Boston are uh, maybe a little bit more preoccupied by the, uh, the developments in the uh, Boston Marathon bombing case, uh, news that uh, Tanayev, uh has been given the death penalty. So uh, that's, uh, that's been talked about quite a bit in, uh, in social media and on the, on the news. So we are walking down Saint Laurent right now, and uh, worth noting that uh, we've got a really large concentration of bars and uh, restaurants right now. So we're uh, probably going to be seeing quite a few uh, stunned bystanders seeing this um, this march go down. Maybe not that stunned, given that it's uh, Montreal and this is kind of uh, kind of another Friday night.
Vieux sexe, Prince Arthur et Saint-Laurent. We do have uh, a few more police officers on bicycles mobilizing at the front of the march. But again, no issues so far. Uh, most likely the itinerary that was uh, provided to police is being respected. For the onlookers here on Saint Laurent, I can imagine that there's a little bit of a shock value, maybe, to seeing a march pass by, not with the uh, not with the usual uh, red flags and red squares and black flags, but uh, Palestinian flags. Definitely not something you see every day. just now uh, expressing her uh, apparent displeasure with the, uh, the protest this evening. Obviously, uh, the Israeli-Palestinian conflict uh, brings a lot of passions to the fore, uh, which is probably uh, the most uh, monumental understatement I can make ever. Unless somebody actually uh, speaks out who's a passerby, it's kind of hard to gauge the reactions of uh, bystanders. But uh, if they open their mouths and say something to the crowd, you'll, uh, you'll usually know right away how they feel. Police continue to uh, fall slowly behind the uh, the march. No confrontations so far this evening.
intersection now, passing Saint Laurent and Thang. Noting that we are moving down Saint Laurent in the direction of Mont Royal Street, uh, so is the possibility that uh, this march is going to be moving back to its uh, origin point of Mont Royal Metro Station. So I'll keep an eye on that on the direction and uh, let you know as soon as I have a more solid sense on the direction that it might be uh, might be taking. We've got to admire the uh, the organizers of this march. Uh, relentless. Uh, they don't let a, a moment of silence go by without uh, starting a new chant on the megaphone. And I'm pretty sure it's been the same guy the whole evening. On the interception of uh, Saint Laurent and Saint Cuthbert, continuing to move towards uh, Montréal Street. Somebody in an apartment right now, taking out a Palestinian flag and waving it, getting quite the response from the crowd. Definitely a, a reinvigorating influence on the crowd. Again, 
very limited number of police officers uh, flanking the, the crowd on bikes. intersection of Saint Laurent and Duluth. a little bit of that just now uh, had a passerby stop and engage with protesters uh, exchange a few words so that is something uh, that I've seen quite a bit this evening most of the time uh, both parties walk away with a smile a couple of tense moments but for the most part it's been positive Support of uh, bystanders clapping along as the uh, as the march proceeds. So we've been marching for a little over an hour right now. Uh, numbers have not dwindled as far as I can see. We still have uh, a large number of people, maybe around 300. So uh, very much in keeping with the numbers at the outset of the march. And uh, still very energetic. Coming up on the intersection of Saint-Laurent and Rachel.
Once again, thank you for joining uh, this live stream. Uh, I'm at Madamo. Follow me on Twitter. The handle is in the title of the stream. And check out 99media.org and thelinknewspaper.ca. Police officers on uh, motorcycles continue to uh, follow the path of the march, blocking off access to certain intersections to help control the flow of traffic. Uh, so far, no issues to report in terms of uh, confrontations between um, protesters and police, uh, protesters and uh, passerbys, a couple of heated exchanges, but nothing serious, and uh, no issues with uh, people in uh, vehicles who are unhappy about being uh, stuck in traffic. Maybe the odd sour look, but nothing beyond that. not uh, camera crews so uh, most of the lenses being pointed at the uh, protest this evening are uh, those of uh, independent and uh, citizen journalists Section right now of Senara and Marianne. There's a young lady over there uh, on a, sitting on a gentleman's shoulders, and she does have a chocolate milk. And boy, howdy, could I go for one of those right now! <laughs> Might get one after this. Thank you. 
Just coming up right now to the intersection of Saint Laurent and Mont Royal. restaurants and clubs. I'm very interested to see what kind of response we'll be getting. that the march will be moving right onto Montreal and uh, and so it is. So we had a chant just now saying uh, Israel is a criminal state and that uh, Stephen Harper, the uh, Prime Minister of Canada, is an accomplice. We did have uh, quite a few comments in the speeches being given at the outset of the march, uh, and a lot of time was uh, given to the uh, to the discussion of the relationship between Canada and Palestine, and then uh, that moved into discussions about uh, the boys, uh, boycott, divestment, and sanctions movement uh, against Israel. chant now in French saying that uh, Israel is uh, assassinating Palestinian children.
we are coming up on the intersection right now of Montréal and Hôtel de Ville, and we are headed back in the direction of Montréal Metro Station, which was the uh, starting point of this uh, march this evening. Uh, all indications are that the uh, itinerary that uh, protest organizers handed to police uh, was respected this evening. There was no uh, confrontation or uh, disagreements between protesters and police about the, uh, the direction of the march. So, um, so far, uh, smooth sailing. is about. Sometimes you'll get some uh, comments. I did hear earlier someone uh, I passed by under his breath said, uh, haven't these people got anything better to do? But uh, also a lot of nods of approval, uh, clapping and chanting along with the, uh, with the crowd. comment from a passerby just now, only in Quebec. <laughs> Coming up on the intersection of Montréal and Saint-Denis, uh, the first major intersection uh, that was undertaken by the marsh, and then uh, if it keeps going straight, it's a uh, stone's throw from the, uh, the uh, metro station that acted as the starting point of the march. So I suspect that that'll probably be where it ends as well. So we got some uh, claps of support and cheers from uh, some of the bystanders, uh, people having a drink out on the terrace. And then um, very quickly some calls from the march for people to, uh, to join in. and we do have uh, police officers on bikes, uh, motorcycles, just uh, helping control the flow of traffic and allow the march to pass by without incident. So we do have uh, traffic backed up a little bit here. As the uh, march continues uh, past Montréal and Saint Denis towards the metro. 
So from uh, if we are nearing the end, uh, it would appear that from beginning to end, uh, the numbers kept up for this protest. May have uh, picked up a few people along the way, actually. And uh, now the crowd uh, seems to have stopped on Montréal and Saint-Denis. We had enough. The people of Palestine had enough. And now we stopped in the middle of this intersection for a couple seconds where people are going to be inconvenienced for a bit. We've been under occupation for 67 years. And nobody, nobody, the world powers, the governments of the world, give a damn. But the people of the world care. And that's why we say so, 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 solidarity avec, avec, avec la Palestine. So we had a call from one of the organizers asking for a minute of silence uh, in commemoration of the uh, of the Nakba. and then he included a uh, moment of silence in commemoration of uh, the Nakba. Avec, avec, avec la Palestine 
police officers on bicycles uh, mobilizing to uh, to help funnel the group back into uh, the square here at the Mobile Eye Metro Station, which uh, was the starting point of this uh, protest and appears to be the end point as well. A few more police officers uh, on the ground here than we've seen uh, throughout this march. Uh, probably here just to make sure that uh, things end on a, a peaceful note, on the same peaceful note that it, uh, it has continued on for this, uh, this duration. So uh, as the march uh, began here at Montréal Station, so too does it end uh, here. Uh, no incidents to report this evening, uh, no confrontations between uh, protesters and police, uh, no real confrontations uh, between uh, protesters here uh, in support of Palestine and uh, in commemoration of the Nakba and uh, people who may have uh, disagreed with them. Uh, there were a couple of moments of uh, some uh, slightly heated exchanges, uh, but for the most part it's been uh, peaceful, uh, jovial, energetic. And a lot of conversations taking place this evening uh, between protesters and passerbys. Uh, lots of smiles, uh, limited police presence, but uh, nothing beyond that. <laughs> So we do have uh, some musicians uh, here providing some uh, some music, and we've got some closing remarks from uh, the protest organizers. But uh, we do appear to have reached uh, the end of tonight's protest. <laughs> And uh, once again, a few words being said about the, the BDS movement, uh, which stands for uh, Boycott, Divestment and Sanctions uh, Against Israel. Uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of conversation about that this evening. Uh, so I'm going to be streaming for a few more minutes. If you have any uh, last minute questions or comments, anything you'd like to, uh, to put out there about uh, tonight's events, uh, about uh, Nakba Day or anything that you may have witnessed uh, in your own. Uh, hometowns. Uh, go ahead and put that in. I'll have a look at the chat and uh, the social stream and uh, try to respond in any way that I can. And I will be signing off in a little bit. So just to recap, uh, this was a uh, Palestinian protest uh, in commemoration of uh, the Nakba or the Palestinian uh, tragedy. Um, there were about three, uh, I'd say between three and four hundred people uh, present during the march. Started around uh, the gathering started around 8 p.m. here at uh, Moyan Metro Station, uh, and uh, things uh, hung around here for about an hour as uh, some speeches were made. Uh, people uh, networked and had some conversations, and then the march uh, proper started about uh, one hour and a half ago. Uh, went around downtown, uh, quite the quite the trajectory actually we did walk around quite a bit uh, people were in uh, high spirits uh, chanting uh, the whole time there's gonna be some uh, hoarse voices uh, tomorrow morning to be sure uh, the itinerary was provided to the police uh, so uh, the march was not declared illegal under uh, Montreal's P6 bylaw I'll repeat it was not declared illegal uh, it was allowed to go on so there were no uh, no real issues this evening Uh, Jones 1963, you are kind as always. Uh, thank you for joining us uh, this evening and uh, for your continued support. So some uh, 
closing plugs from me so uh check out 99media.org and the link newspaper.ca the two uh two outlets that i'm associated uh, with and work for uh follow me on twitter uh at madamol the handle is in the title of the stream uh thank you very much for your continued viewership and support uh always nice to see people uh coming back to the stream and uh, interacting so I'm, uh, I'm going to call it uh, an evening for now. So uh, as always, thank you very much for watching. Have a good one.